The markets took a tumble on the first trading day of the month. The Dow finished down more than 100 points to close at 18,037. The Nasdaq was down 35 and a half points to finish at 51.54, and the S&P 500 was down about 14 and a half points to end at 21.12. Market analysis tonight. Chris Keith is from Advisor Investments and joins us from our newsroom this evening. Hi, Chris. Hey, Mike. So down about three quarters of a percent on the S&P. What was going on today? Well, you know, Mike, we had a bit of good news to welcome us this morning, and that was out of China. We saw a rebound in some manufacturing and factory orders data there, so that was uh, welcome for investors here. Uh, we did have our own manufacturing reports to contend with at one point later in the morning. But I think overall, Mike, investors are leaning on the side of being cautious, and I certainly understand why. We have a week to go before the presidential election, and the campaign season has been unlike any that I've ever seen. Uh, investors have a lot of earnings reports to digest, and and we also have the potential for an active Fed thrown into the mix. So I understand why the caution, and I understand why we uh, lost a little bit of ground today. It is a ripe stew right now, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. All right. What was uh, the U.S. manufacturing data that you mentioned, and, and what did it tell you? Sure. It was the ISM manufacturing uh, report came, that came out today. And the index level was a little higher than expected, uh, and that's good. Uh, but I think that overall it points to uh, a continued uh, modest, although, uh, you know, uh, steady level of manufacturing activity here in the U.S. I do believe, Mike, that with the strength that we've had in the employment side of the economy and with the strength of the U.S. consumer, that there will be further gains both in manufacturing and in the larger uh, services sector component of the ISM reports. All right, October, we're now finished with October. It was a record breaker for corporate mergers, but today we had news of a merger that looks like it's not going to happen. Yeah, so first things first, October, $490 million uh, billion dollars worth of uh, deals were announced, so that's a pretty, uh, a pretty big number right there. But today we're learning about a deal that looks like it's not going to go through, and that's with Gannett trying to buy uh, Trunk Media. Uh, Trunk may not be a household name to many of our viewers, but it is the old Tribune Publishing. Uh, Gannett had offered $680 million for the company, but it doesn't look like it's going to go through. So why is Gannett uh, not pursuing it? Well, I think it's a question of not having the level of financing that they need to put together to complete this size deal. A lot of interested parties, and the lenders for that matter, think that Gannett might be paying too big of a premium uh, for the company. Um, you know, this is an industry that has had uh, a pretty well documented uh, uh, period of, of challenges, both financially and in growth uh, spectrum as well. So I can understand why the, the deal might not go through. Mm. All right, what are you looking for tomorrow? All right, so tomorrow we get the conclusion of the Fed's two-day meeting, and we really don't expect much coming out of that, Mike. Maybe a little table setting for what's going to happen next month in December, and we get more earnings reports, including from Facebook, Fitbit, and Whole Foods Market. We will look for all of that tomorrow. Chris Keith of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks as always, Chris. All right, thank you, Mike.